All right, so let's jump into this video and talk about tuning ZL1 and CTSV applications. We're gonna find they run on E38 or E67 controllers, and they're going to have some specific information in them that we have not covered in this training course, such as our boost control or the boost limits. And we're also gonna have some things proprietary for the spark time and control that I'm gonna go over in the video so you know where to get started when you're doing your tuning with a CTSV or a ZL1 application so you get the best results and you get the minimal amount of knock retard. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our E67 controller in a Cadillac CTSV application. Now the Cadillac CTSV and the Camaro ZL1 are both going to have the same kind of programming, which differs slightly from other Gen 4 ECM programming that we cover in our training course so far. Now, as far as the tuning procedure goes, whether you'll be tuning into mass airflow, speed density, using the virtual volumetric efficiency tables, uh, or going into doing kind of transmission control with the automatic transmission, or if you're gonna be working with the fuel pump control module, all of that is still gonna be applicable to a CTSV. There's gonna be some small differences that I wanna highlight in this video, so you know what to do and what to expect when you're working with a CTSV, as well as taking a look at our spark timing and our tuning process. There's some things I wanna point out that is gonna be a little bit specific to a CTSV. So let's first and foremost here, jump into the boost control with a CTSV. That's probably the, the, the largest difference between looking at, let's say a Camaro or Corvette file, it's gonna be naturally aspirated, and a CTSV here. So we're gonna go into our engine tab. We're gonna move across here from general. We're gonna move all the way over here into the torque management tab. Now under torque management, we're gonna go across from general, engine, and then into supercharger. Now the supercharger tab is gonna be specific to the CTSV. So if you're working with a Corvette, a Camaro, or any other Gen 4 application, and you're retrofitting a supercharger onto that vehicle, it is not going to have any of the programming done in here. This again is specific to the CTSV. So if you, again, you're installing an aftermarket supercharger kit in your Corvette, you don't have to worry about anything in here. So uh, let's go over what these tables mean and what we need to know in order to program this. Now the way the factory boost control is going to work, you're gonna have a bypass valve that's installed on the supercharger. The bypass valve's purpose is to allow the supercharger to not build boost in part throttle situations so you're not constantly in boost. Um, we'll find the bypass valve if it's not energized, if you get into full throttle conditions. You may only build three or four PSI of boost. Now you might need to build something like seven or eight PSI if you're on stock pulley ratios. If you have aftermarket pulleys installed on your CTSV, you should be at maybe uh, 12 to 14 pounds of boost. It will not allow you to get up to that pulley ratio that you're driving the supercharger at because that bypass valve is going to be fully open. We have to have it plugged in, it has to be functioning, it has to have everything set up correctly in our tune here in order to achieve that peak boost that your pulley ratios are gonna be set at. Now the way this is gonna work, and we have a essentially a boost control solenoid that's gonna be controlling the actuator at 0% duty cycle, that's going to be uh, essentially having the actuator fully open. So it's going to be bypassing as much boost as possible, only generating that three to four PSI range. If it's going to be at 100% duty cycle output to the solenoid, it's going to be essentially allowing the uh, actuator to be fully closed. So you're gonna be building whatever boost your pulley ratio is going to be set at. So if you have a 12 or 14 pound pulley, you should be seeing that under wide open throttle conditions. Now, what we wanna do is essentially bypass any of the boost control. We wanna achieve the most boost that we can. So we wanna go into these tables here and make sure they're set up so they make sense. Now, there's gonna be a couple different parts of this that we need to be aware of. The first part here under the supercharger torque management we're gonna have a couple different limiters that are in place when we're working with this particular tab here in the supercharger. So we'll find we have a spark tab, a fuel tab, and a throttle control tab. We can see that these are all enabled right now. These are going to be related to the actual- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.